What's going on you guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another Dog Mom Diary. So we start out with everybody's supplements for their breakfast. Here are their breakfast bowls. Ready to go. Everybody's ready to be fed. Everybody's been put in their kennels. Then we have laundry we have to do after breakfast. And after that, after everything's said and done, we take Coco on a little, little adventure to go see my mother-in-law because Coco has been removed from her house and she was not allowed to take a dog with her and she was not capable of caring for a dog. So we took Coco and Coco is going to see her. So Coco's a little nervous. Coco's actually not even that old despite the gray are all around her face. She's only, I think I believe three years old. She decided she was gonna take a nap on the way and she did really good in the car. She's never really been car trained. I think the only time she was in a car was anytime she had to go to that, she had Parvo because they weren't taking care of her. And then when we went to the beach, I think those were the only times she has ever really been in a car. But she did really, really good with us. There's Chica and all the dogs hanging out when we get back. Everybody's kind of just doing their own thing and relaxing, being regular dogs, doing what dogs do best, which is, or what my dogs do best, which is sleeping. Everybody's just kind of enjoying a good old nap. Here is Aries and Zero. They decide they want to go outside. So I took the boys outside just to do a little bit of marking their territory and a little bit of sleeping or peeing and a little bit of a... A little bit of exploring just what dogs do best here is mr marbles who is really just hanging out doing his own thing honestly he's really just sleeping we had a pretty interesting day it was a very long day so i don't blame the dogs for being tired because when i'm worn out they're tired too which is what i've noticed and again i don't blame them because we've been just crazy busy lately here's mama athena i'm petting giving her a belly rub giving y'all a little update on mama's athena's belly she's got a big belly and this time she was not due she was not having her puppies quite yet but as of this day today, she has had her puppies. They have been born, and they are doing great. Here's everybody's breakfast bowls for the next day, and here's the, what the night consists of. It was uh, Duke, Nix, Whiskey, uh, Hershey, and Zeus running back and forth, having the Zoomies playing around, just doing whatever they do best, just having an overall good time. Here are the dog supplements for the next day. Their oat milk, the goat's milk. The uh, hip and joint will bite for Ruby. Here are their bowls ready to go, ready for everybody to eat. They're, they're putting their kennels. Then there's laundry that has to be done. I think this takes the same thing every single day. It's like the same way. But then you have the interesting moments like this. Iris is playing with the boys, which they the boys don't get a lot of contact with the smaller girls and the smaller boys because they can get a little bit too much for them. They can be a little bit aggressive. And not aggressive in a bad way, but they can get to be a little bit too much. Aries can be a little bit too much. But he was really, really good here. He treated uh, Iris really, really well. And Iris tried to jump on the couch and she missed it. And Zero was really good too. So I can't really complain. They were both good. Here's Mama Anna with her babies. Everybody's sleeping on a heating pad. Kind of just relaxing and sleeping. Sleeping and relaxing. But the puppies still hadn't had their eyes open. So it was, it was a basic day for them. Which they had a really good day overall. And, and honestly with puppies, puppies always have a good day. All they have to do is sleep, eat, and poop, and even then they don't have to poop or pee because Mama does, cleans it up for them. We went on a little adventure again with Miss Ruru, so we took Ru, and we went somewhere. I cannot remember at this point where we went, but we went somewhere, and we had errands we had to go run, and I prefer to take Ru with me because I prefer to take Ru wherever I can because Ru does have a lot of anxiety stemming from her original breeder. So we do try to work with her quite a bit, and we do try to leave her at home, but it's just like a pick and choose. Here's Miss Nixie Wixie who decided she was just going to have a ball rolling around and just being a goof. So I ended up calling her name and she stopped what she was doing. And if you didn't notice all the blanket that's been torn up, I have to clean that up. I have to clean it up all the time. I don't think there's a time when I haven't had to clean it up. Due to this one, Crane, the little white haired monstrosity. But I clean it up all the time. And then I got puppy pads in and then I was doing a little video with them where I put the camera down and I was just messing with them so i put the camera down to see what they would do and i went inside the kennel because i'm just that stupid so i went inside the kennel and as you can tell everybody was there aside from cappuccino everybody was knew i was going where i was going and just everybody was throwing a fit they wanted to get, all get in the kennel with me but i could i couldn't help it i wanted to give them all the love i could so i sat in the kennel and as you can tell and then i had to get out of the kennel so getting out of the kennel was the hardest thing i have had to do and everybody wanted to come up and sniff the camera, which I thought it was hilarious that everybody went. And then <laughs> Nix had to climb over Mocha's back, and then the camera fell. So there we are. So I set the camera up again just to sit with the dogs. So I did that. I set the camera up again and let the dogs attack me and give me all the love that they possibly could. So here we are with that. Everybody was getting in on the action. I mean, everybody. You see Chubby's butt, Rosemary's butt, Zoots' butt, Mocha's butt. I mean, you see all the butts. 
There's a rosemary, and I think that was a chubby, and then there's a ruby. You could see all the dog butts. And Cookies had the easiest time getting up there because Cookies is the biggest. I think some of the dogs opted out of it, like Cream. And there's a Cappuccino and a Luna. But most of them got up there just to get some love and some kisses because I just wanted to sit down and give them as much love as I could. And they deserve it. They're some of the best dogs. And they did so well. Nobody got any arguments over it. Everybody was happy. And then they decided they were going to go to bed. So as you could tell, everybody decided to go to bed. I mean, they were just, they they were absolutely conked out at that point. And then I had laundry that had to be done and food that had to be done. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.